Uh, in order to add any emails to your Mac, all you guys have to do is just go here into your mail and you can add them there. You don't need to, however. So keep in mind that your email is online. So you guys could access that throughout Safari. It's just a web browser. So you guys could go to gmail.com and just hit up your emails from there as well. You don't need to go into there. But if you like to keep something in an app, you guys could set this up. Setting it up is really easy. All you guys have to do is click on it. And then from here, it's going to ask you right away, what do you want to import? So it could be our Google account going to continue. Then just type in your password, all your information, and there you go. So your email, it's going to ask you for password, going to add it on, and you're going to be done. So it's going to be that easy actually to add anything into your mail. But again, that's not something that everybody uses. Feel free not to. And as I mentioned before, your main browser would be Safari, but you guys can download Google Chrome if you like. And to do that, all you guys have to do is just go here and type in Google Chrome and just download it. And yeah, you would download it from here and not the App Store. There's actually a ton of apps that you would download it from here and not the App Store. Although for some of them, you do have the option to go into the App Store and download it from there. Others, you don't have to. You can just go right here and it's going to ask you if you guys want to download. It's going to be, how do you know this is a legit one? Just look at that up here. It's supposed to say something like .com like google.com and then it's going to tell you Chrome. That's how you know it's the official one and not an app that's being hacked by somebody and trying to get people to download. So that's how you guys can make sure something's legit online. Just look where you're downloading it from because sometimes the very first option that you guys see would be an ad and those ads are sketchy sometimes. So that's how you guys would do that. I know a lot of people like Google Chrome, that's why I'm mentioning it, but you guys feel free just to use Safari. Safari is fine, that's my main thing. That's what I use. But anyways, these are the very basics with your Mac. This should get you started. If you guys have specific questions, let me know. So one of the last things I'm going to show you, and that's because this is a MacBook that I'm showing you on. Even if it wasn't a MacBook, let's say this was an iMac or anything with a bigger screen, this is useful because this down here could be taking up your space for no reason. So you're going to your system settings. So again, bottom right hand side, system settings, open it up. And then from here, just type in doc like I did right now. And you're going to see this first option, go into it. And I want to show you this. You can make this as big or small as you like. So you guys can see how small it goes. I wouldn't make it small. I would make it medium size. But here's something that a lot of people don't do. And it's to magnify it. So let me just zoom in on what I'm actually doing here. And what I'm going to do is this. What will this do? I'm going to bring it up here so you guys can see a little bit more. Once I scroll through it. It's going to magnify what I'm going to select. And the reason why you might want to turn on this is because this dock right here, we can hide it. So it doesn't take space on your screen. And that's this option right here, automatically hide. Just turn that on. And then you guys can see it disappeared. Let me just unclick. And once I scroll down with my mouse, it's going to appear. So every time I want to actually open anything up here, I'm going to see it, but if I just scroll up, it's going to disappear. So that's good. And you guys can actually even make the top part of your Mac disappear. So even you have even more screen, but that I wouldn't personally do because your time's up there and there's things that you want quick access to. So you don't really want this hidden and then, then having to go up to just view what's up here, but you can, that's an option too in system preferences. I do have a separate video about that, but not something I recommend. However, this part I do highly recommend. And since we're taking a look at this, I'm going to show you how to delete these things. And we're just going to delete them from here from the dock, not delete the app itself. So let's say if I take this out, if I just drag it out, it's going to say remove. There we go. So it's no longer here. However, the app still exists. I didn't delete it. I just took it out from there. So if I go into my applications, it's still going to be here. However, Again, if I would do want to get something back there, if I want to add anything to my doc, I can just grab it from here and drag it down. So for example, something that's not down there would be weather. So I can just drag it down here and put it there. Actually, I think it was there. So let's drag something else like boys. I'm going to drag it down and place it here. Actually, I can place it anywhere really. But for now, we're just going to place it in between these two. I'm going to let it go. And there we go. So again, that's how you guys can add anything onto your dock or you guys can remove anything from your dock as well. Just by going like that, go up a little bit 
let go of it, and that's how you guys can remove. So I'm gonna show you that one more time. For reminders, for example, remove. For this, remove. So this guys delete anything from there. All right, so if you guys want to delete an app, um, it has to be a deletable app, for example, such as Keynote. You guys can right click on it, move to trash. That's your third option, and that's gonna get rid of it. That's one way. Another way would be to click on it, press command delete, or the third option would be to just drag it onto your trash bin. And that's how you guys can uninstall password and done. There we go. So that's how you guys can uninstall any app. Obviously we have to empty out that trash bin, just like you delete any file. There are apps out there that help you delete any apps from here for your Mac. And that's because they find usually folders or anything like that that's associated with the app itself, which is good when there are bigger apps out there. And there's some really complicated apps such as Adobe, uh, which you actually need to download an app to delete Adobe itself. So that's different. That's a different video again, but that's a particular case. For most apps, all you guys have to do is just drag them there. And there's an app that's called App Delete that I use. I, I suggest using that as well because it finds other folders that are associated with the particular program that you're using and that's going to help you out. However, I no longer show that app anymore because people think I'm advertising and I'm not. That's just an app that I use. But you don't have to. You can just drag your apps to your trash bin, type in your password if you have one for your Mac, press OK, and you're done. Or press Command Delete on top of it, password again, OK, and done. So that's how you can uninstall things here on your Mac. It's much easier than a PC, I know. It almost makes it sound like not real. Because on PC, you have to go through your settings and then do it from there, uninstalling in a program. And right here on Mac, we even call them apps instead of programs. But anyways, just empty out your trash bin and you're good to go. Anyways, those are the bare basics for your Mac. Go ahead and have fun with it. I want to teach you one more thing before we end this video, and that's how to change your background. Uh, it's actually pretty easy. Just go ahead and tap with two fingers. You're going to see this. Change wallpaper. Do it from there. That's a quick way. Another way. From your system settings just type in wallpaper change wallpaper and then from here you guys are going to see a bunch of options so we can go and type this one in we can try this one out they're going to change as you click on them and then you can select whichever one you want so right now we just going to leave it there for now and i want to highlight that you can download any other ones as well and you can add in your own photos too so right here you have that option to add photo, but you don't really need to do that from here. If you have your own picture, you can also right click on it and it's going to give you the option to make it your wallpaper. So it's going to be that easy to change wallpaper right here on Mac. And that would be actually it for this tutorial. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.